is up you guys? For anyone that is new here, my name is Maria. This is Blue, my Australian Shepherd. We call him Blucifer on his bad days. He is my best friend and my shotgun rider. And one third of Roman Reckless. The vehicle that we are in right now is my beloved Subaru Outback named Rue. For the past year, we have been on a North American road trip going through all 50 states, some of Canada. We just got back on the road from like a three month-ish hiatus. And anyways, today we are gonna give you a tour of Rue, show you how I have been living out of this car, kind of how I have everything set up, show you what's going on on my roof rack and everything I have in my totes, where I sleep, all that business. So anyways, I don't know why I'm doing this, but let's get into it. Hi, do you guys see yourselves? Cute. So coming into the driver's seat, Ugh. This is just extra stuff that's not really uh, supposed to be up here, like headphones, my lens cap, stuff I had in my pockets, whatever. Blue, you're blocking what I'm trying to talk about, dude. Alright, move it or lose it. First thing that I'm going to mention really quick is just this little side thing right here on my driver's side door. It's kind of my equivalent to a kitchen junk drawer, so I have like bumper stickers, um, tickets from tours I've done, an extra Starbucks straw. I also keep my pepper spray in here just in case I need to, you know, check someone real quick. You'll also notice my favorite air freshener I've ever purchased. Shout out to my sister because I totally stole that idea from her. Here's my little shifter. Rose a little shifter. I uh, keep extra hair ties here, you know, because I don't have anywhere else to put them. Between the two seats, um, I just have my hydro flask, which I always have literally right here because got to stay hydrated. And then in between the seats, this isn't always up here because they fall over, but um, I just have my wallet. Usually that's in the center console. And then I just have books that I'm reading and my planner in which I desperately need to plan out my life on the road. If you guys need... <laughs> Any of you want a book recommendation, 100% recommend you read Crush It by Gary Vee. This book will help you take something that you've always wanted to do and kind of help you plan it out and give you the motivation to just go out and do it. Not only that, but you know, he just like revs you up. Gary Vee is honestly life, like I love him. But good book, great book. Also, this is more like a girl's book, but Being Boss, this is also a really good book just about, you know, doing what you need to do. I'm all about really empowering books, like I'm living on the road, and kind of going after what I want to do with that. So if you don't know me, one thing about me is that I'm very rah, rah, go for what you want. Don't let anybody tell you that you can't do something. You're the author of your own life. You know what I mean? Write that book away. All right, enough cheesy shit. Let's get over to the passenger side and show you Blue Station. So this is where Blue rides most of the time. Sometimes he will um, go in the back, which I'll show you next, and he'll lay down back there, but that's why I have this blanket up because Blue tends to get pretty nasty and I'm trying to, I mean, my seats are disgusting anyways, but just me trying to preserve it somehow. Also in my center console, I do have my power inverter, which is how I charge all of my electronics, camera chargers, you know, drone, battery charger. You get the point, anything that I need to charge or use, like an actual outlet for, oh, my book's gonna fall. See, there's my little power inverter in there. Right here in between the seats is where I keep Blue's little chuck it, fetch throwing thing because Blue is a working dog. Being an Australian Shepherd, he thinks fetch is his job, so we play fetch daily. He has extra balls down there. And then just all of his like treats and stuff, I kind of throw there. His leash is right there. And then I also keep an extra pair of shoes. So my boots I'll always keep there. If I'm wearing my boots, I'll keep like slip on shoes if I need to run to the store or something. And then, ugh. As far as everything in my glove box, I just have like an extra pair of Ray-Bans. My normal Ray-Bans are up there in this little sunglass holder thing. Have all my documentation and then I have batteries and extra cords, stuff that I don't really need to use all the time but is kind of important, I throw in here. All right, moving on to behind the driver's side door. I keep all of my clothes right here in this tote. I also have towels for when I go to the gym and shower. <laughs> when and then i have an extra little blanket up here usually i use this for blue it's kind of like a little fleece thing so for whatever reason if i need an extra uh, extra blanket for blue that's his and then this is my electronic backpack so i keep all of my camera stuff in here my computer my drone my gopro all of my camera gear and equipment i keep in this bag also if i take long hikes and i need to 
use my drone for anything. This is, you know, obviously a backpack, so it's nice. I can just throw it on and go. Below this is kind of like stuff I haven't really organized yet. I have like stuff that I knew I needed from my house, but didn't really have a place to put in here yet, so I threw it in this bag. So I have extra like little uh, tripods and things for my GoPro in this bag, and then I have like protein powder and like face moisturizer. That's my gym bag back there. You're not gonna really be able to see it, but that's where I keep all of my shower stuff toiletries, stuff that I need to take a shower and clean myself, will all be in that bag. So this is where all the magic happens. And by that I mean sleep. So I do have my bed permanently set up all the time. I have layers of foam under here and then a huge camping mat, my sleeping bag, and then like a light little quilt thing. Um, right now it's so hot, I actually sleep on top of my sleeping bag and then I'll just like cover up with this if I even do that. Back when it was colder and I was like on the first part of this road trip though, I would sleep inside and like burrow under covers and stuff. As you can see right now, I have a shit amount of wood. This came from a camping trip that I just got back from and I got a lot of wood for hella cheap, so why not bring it with me? But as soon as I use this up, this entire space will be empty and then I'll probably keep my drone backpack back here or lay something down for blue, I don't know. Something usually fits right here, but for right now, until I use all this wood, there it sits. Also, I do have a water jug back here. I keep that full for Blue, just so he has water on hand at all times. Because, you know, that boy gets thirsty. But you get thirsty, huh? All right, so here is the front of my bed. Here's kind of my view when I'm sleeping. Cute, right? Also, I don't know if you guys noticed, but all of my windows are like illegally tinted all the way around. Um, technically, I'm not supposed to do that, but I'm a girl sleeping in her car on the road, so don't want people looking at me. Thought it was a smart idea. Haven't gotten caught yet. Don't tell anyone. And then, thanks to my mom, I have this cute little battery-powered fan, which literally saves my life. Recently, it has been about 70 degrees at night, which is like actually the cap that Blue and I can comfortably sleep in my car. So that fan kind of saves us, keeps the car cooler for a little bit longer, but still, we usually end up waking up at like 7 a.m. because this heat, man, this summertime heat. Anyways, down here, I don't really keep anything too exciting, just extra pairs of shoes. I have my Febreze back there, which is so necessary. And then this is actually the um, bag to my tripod, which I'm using right now for this video, so it's not in there, but that's where that lives. And then back here, I just have like body sprays. Um, ooh, actually, I also have my checklist for my go bag, which my brother got me for my birthday. The go bag, not just the checklist, but anyways. I keep that in there too, so I kind of add to it as I go. If I ever pick up more survival stuff, I'll show you that once I get to the roof rack. Yeah, I do have extra room down here. Blue just ran out of food this morning when I fed him breakfast, so tonight when we go to the store and buy him more dog food, his dog food will live like right back there. That is pretty much it for the inside of the car. Let's move to the roof rack. All right, so just glancing up at my roof rack, I already took my main straps off the totes because I know I'm about to bring them down, and then my little bungee cords are right there. And then this is my camp chair, you know, camping. That kind of lives just back there. It's bungee strapped down. But let me get my totes down and I'll show you what's in them. Alrighty, Roo. First tote. Cute, right? All right, you guys, this is like show and tell. As you can probably tell from touring the inside of the car, I like to keep things minimalistic because it tends to get so messy in the car when I bring a ton of stuff inside it. So it's just easier to throw it up on my roof rack if it's not something I'm gonna need every single day. Obviously, self-explanatory. Come on, Maria. So first tote that I have is fluids for my car. So <laughs> windshield wiper fluid, extra quarts of oil, uh, coolant, just things that Rue needs. I have bug spray, a brush for Blue. I actually haven't brushed him out, probably should, since he's gotten shaved because his hair's been too short. But even when Blue is fully grown out and has his long hair, I only brush him once a week, so no need to keep this in the car. I also have stuff to do laundry, pods. I have wipes. Do these have deep? No, they don't, cool. I have a huge box. I actually think there's a thousand. Yeah, my mom got me a pack of a thousand of them from Amazon. Just keep two in the car because Blue doesn't need a thousand poop bags. Or do you? He does shit a lot. My tools that I need anything, I mean, it doesn't do much, but it's just basic like wrenches and sockets and stuff like that, but just good to have on hand if I need to do anything on Rue. Changes oil, whatever. I also have a funnel 
if I do put oil in, I have it. <laughs> I have an extra line for blue. Oh, I also have a can of PB Blaster. Importante. Oh, I actually should use this. I have a thing of sea foam to put in my gas tank. You know, clean out that stuff. I have a thing of tire fix. This is self-explanatory, but like, let's say I get a flat tire and I just need to get myself to the nearest city or whatever. Keep that on hand. I also have this, I never use this, but I always bring it. It's like a little waist leash thing. Actually, I know when I use this. I haven't used it recently, but I know when I use it. This is for when Blue and I are going hiking and I have my hands full, like let's say I'm filming a lot or I'm like flying the drone or something. I put this on my waist, it cinches around my waist and then it has a little thing that I can connect his leash to and then I have him around me and don't have to worry about it, but I'm busy doing other things. I also have extra bungee cords. Oh! I have my wine opener. Actually, I don't know why I don't have this in the car. I have like yet to drink wine on the road, but I do love wine, so that is in there. In case anyone ever wants to come have a campfire party with me and bring some wine. Oh, brake fluid. I also have one single fire starter, which I need, you guys. I know for those of you who have, who have been watching from the beginning, if you remember, like, I think it, I was in Vermont. It was one of the first vlogs I ever posted, like maybe number five or something like that. I was at a campsite and I was making a fire and I mentioned how like the one thing I will need a man for is to make a fire for me because I'm independent as hell, don't need no man for nothing, but I cannot make a fire for anything. Girl Scout level, negative. I have one single fire starter because when I do make fires, I do need fire starters and it still doesn't tend to work out for me. Anyways, um, I also have Blue's Flea and Tick Spray, which the whole reason that Blue is shaved right now is because he got like 20 ticks on him and he is on tick preventative now, like a, when he like eats, but um, I just like to spray this on him before we go hiking because there's ticks everywhere. Like even yesterday we were walking on a sidewalk and I found a tick on him just like on his back and I had to like you know, flick it off, so. Usually spray him down with this before we go into the woods, just, you know, so he has extra protective measure. Overprotective mother, okay? Judge me. That was it for tote number one. Let's move on to tote number two. I think that one does not have much in it. This is the big mama. The red one is the big mama, so. Tote number two. Whew. <laughs> All right, tote number two. Blue, I'm gonna leave you here if you don't stop. Okay. <laughs> All right, so going into tote number two. Oh, I forgot I put these in here. <laughs> I have two extra pairs of shoes, so I have another pair of Converse, and then I have like a shoe with a heel, which I always like to think that I'm gonna take like cute Instagram pictures and like, you know, look semi-decent or look like I'm having a, a cute time on Instagram, but I never wear these, so I just leave these in my roof rack because I have room for them, and in case I ever get invited to go somewhere nice, I have some sort of heel and not just nasty boots and converse wear. Those live up there. The main thing in my yellow toe is my tent, which I have down here. It's all opened up because I didn't close it from last time I used it because I don't really see a point. And then the big thing is my go bag, which it says guns and coffee on it. And it has like the Starbucks logo. <laughs> my brother got me this for my birthday a couple years ago. So for those of you who don't know what like a go bag is or a grab bag. Okay, someone's mowing a lawn. I don't know if you can hear that. If you don't know what a grab bag or a go bag is, it's pretty much just like a bag full of essentials, survival stuff, if you will, if you ever are like in a pinch and need it. Um, like let's say I crash my car in the middle of the desert and I don't know why I would be in the middle of the desert. Just hear me out, okay? Let's say I crash ruin in the middle of the desert or God forbid he blows an engine again and I'm stuck and I have to walk somewhere and it's gonna take me two days to walk somewhere so I can get help or whatever. Everything that I need will be in here. I have a first aid kit in here. I have extra water bottles. I have, and my, my brother got me a vegetarian MRE. I also have a, like the little water filtration system. A lot of the stuff I haven't opened yet and is still in its packaging because, you know, thankfully I haven't been that stranded yet. Uh, this also comes with like a bladder in it and a little straw drink thing. Survival blanket, so if I'm like freezing at night, spoon, fork, knife also a wine opener on this thing. So even if I'm stranded, I can still open my wine. I should put a thing of wine in here. <laughs> God forbid I'm in the desert and you know, two days till I need, two days till I get help. At least I can get drunk. God, I hope my parents don't watch this. They're gonna kill me. 
My dad's probably gonna watch this on his TV and then call me afterwards and yell at me, but. Hi, Dad, how are you? I also have a little fork eat tool thing. Oh, nice, Maria. Also, I have like a Victoria's Secret body spray because, you know, I'll be starving and on my deathbed, but at least I'll smell okay. Yeah, there's other little random knickknacks and stuff, but this is just something that I keep in the roof rack because I don't need it every day. But something good to have on hand, like I said, if I ever am in an emergency, need a first aid kit, whatever. So if the zombie apocalypse ever happens, your girl's good, she's got her go bag. So that's what's in the second toe on the roof rack. When I do have dirty laundry, I tend to actually get a third toe and throw it up there and keep that in there because I just don't like having smelly clothes inside the car. My car smells shitty enough when I have a wet dog in there half the time and obviously we live out of my car so it's just like dirt's always coming in and out of it. As you can imagine, Blue and I aren't necessarily like the cleanest people actually like my appearance right now. <laughs> but my mom likes to call my mountain woman state meaning I'm like, it's my on the road vibe, so. Anyways, that's it for the totes on the roof rack. Let's put these suckers back up. All right, you guys, so that is it for the tour of Rue and things that are in the roof rack. I know one thing that I did forget to mention is kind of food and food storage. To be honest, I usually I do have a little cooler. I need to go pick up another one. I'm kind of a boring eater. I don't really um, ever make meals or even when I have a campfire, I don't ever just like sit down and like cook something up like, what am I gonna eat? You know, just like cooked vegetables. Like, and I'm not really a picky eater anyway, so I kind of just get fruit from the store or like little snacky things. I kind of just snack all day to be honest and I'll just keep that behind either the driver's seat or the passenger seat, wherever I have room, just like a bag full of food. And to be honest, I don't, I don't really eat much on the road. I'm too distracted with all the stuff going on, you know? But anyways, that's why you're not really gonna ever seem like much of like a food storage thing. I know a lot of people that overland and live out of their cars tend to have like a drawer system with like cooking utensils and spices and all that stuff that's super cool. I wish I was that kind of girl. I'm not. Actually, when I first left for this road trip, I thought I was gonna be like that. And I had all this silverware and like plates and pots and salt and pepper and like all aluminum foil, all this cooking stuff that I thought I was gonna use to use it maybe one time. And it was like, cause I was like, you know, I probably should since I have this in my car and I towed it around the entire country, might as well use it. I just don't really get into that stuff. So I give props to people that do that and cook every single night. You guys are sickening. I don't, I, that is so cool. I wish I could be like that. I'm just not that kind of girl. Too lazy, got other stuff going on. But anyways, that was the setup of Rue and kind of how we live our lives out of this car and how we've been surviving in this car for the past year. Don't get me wrong, when I first started last July and we left for the road trip, I had way too much stuff. I brought a ton of stuff that I thought I was gonna use that I never did. Now, as I mentioned before, as you could probably see, I take a lot more of like a minimalist approach. I just think everything that I'm gonna be taking around the country with me should have a place and a purpose. So that's kind of how I approach it now. It just works for me in blue. We don't really need anything fancy. Obviously we're living on the road out of a car. It's the best laugh, isn't it, Bubby? It's the best laugh. That is all you guys. All right. See you in the next one. Bye. There's wasp, there's wasp, there's wasp, there's wasp, there's wasp. There's wasp. I just keep thinking if I keep announcing that there's a wasp, that it'll go away. Bro, why you gotta do me dirty like that? Like, get out. You would think I'd be used to insects by now, but I'm just so not down for it. Oh, it's kind of pretty. It's got blue wings.